Now, Scotland is on track for a new leader this week. Scottish nationalists have elected Humza Youssef to lead the party after Nicola Sturgeon's surprise resignation. Youssef is expected to formally be voted into office by the Scottish Parliament tomorrow. Today, he said he is a proud Scot and a proud European and would do everything possible to deliver Scottish independence. Uh, I am not just humbled of that. I most certainly am. I also feel like the luckiest man in the world to be standing here as the leader of the SNP. And just as I will lead the SNP in the interests of all party members, not just those who voted for me, so I will aim to lead Scotland in the interests of all of our citizens, whatever your political allegiance. If elected as your First Minister after tomorrow's vote in Parliament, know that I will be a First Minister for all of Scotland. Well, with more uh, on that new uh, leader in Scotland, here's our correspondent in London, Benedict Pevio. Well, the first thing to say is that he's been elected leader of the Scottish National Party, and he looks set to succeed Nicola Sturgeon as Scotland's first minister, because it is for the Scottish Parliament, holy rude, to actually decide and vote on that, in which case he would then take his oath of office as First Minister on Wednesday. So let's just establish those simple facts. He is almost 38 years old. Uh, it's almost a birthday present for him since he will turn 38. Uh, this is uh, quite an extraordinary uh, rise for him. He is making history, uh, it would seem, as the first ethnic minority leader of a devolved government, and he will be the first Muslim to lead a major UK party. Important that he has said uh, that he wants to work constructively uh, with the UK government. Uh, he, of course, will be discussing uh, the big matter uh, for Scotland uh, because he wants to deliver independence. He says that his is the generation that will uh, deliver independence. And as he has seems set to succeed Nicola Sturgeon, uh, she did not manage to deliver that. I will just underline that the finance minister, who had just come back from maternity leave, Kate Forbes, did exceedingly well, since in the final count, she actually got uh, 48, 47% of the vote, and he got 52.1%. But as we heard him say in his victory speech um, that he was the luckiest man in the world, uh, he has also said that it will not be his team or his rival team. It's obviously one team, and it's Team SNP. He said he was a proud Scot and that he is a proud European and that his other goal is to get Scotland back into the European Union. So setting out his agenda from the word go, and, of course, London, the UK, Westminster government watching very carefully these developments.